Oh my god! No, 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 I can't. Is my hair going to fall off after this? That is the question. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are trying out some more viral TikTok beauty hacks. I have done a couple of these videos now and you guys always seem to enjoy them because I basically put the most viral TikTok beauty hacks to the test so you guys don't have to. It's always a bunch of fun and I enjoy filming these videos so much for you guys so I thought I would do another. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe subscribe down below. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you check out my other viral TikTok beauty hacks videos after this one. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so the very first hack we're gonna be trying out today is this one right here by the user Layla Gerbers. I hope I say that right. It's basically the most intricate nose contouring technique you'll ever see in your life. I've been meaning to try out this hack for the longest time and I don't know why I haven't already, but let me know what you guys think of it and if you have tried it yourself. So in this TikTok, it looks like she's using a very precise flat kind of brush to apply the nose contour and it also looks like she's using a cream based product. So for this, I'm actually gonna be using this sleek cream contour palette which looks like this. So the first thing she does is a little bit strange. She basically just draws two lines like this kind of like on the inner socket of her eye. This is definitely not something I would ever sort of do when it comes to nose contouring, but I'm willing to try it because I mean, it looked amazing on her. Once she's drawn those lines on, she then takes that line and drags it all the way down her nose. So I'm just gonna do the same thing thing. So as you guys can see, we have this sort of like triangular almost shape, which we're now going to connect. This is something that again, I just would not do when it comes to nose contouring. But I mean, we're just going to follow it step by step and just see what happens. Hmm. I'm starting to look like a geometry ruler, to be honest. She then creates this little line over the tip of her nose, like above it, and then also one below it. I guess that's what creates the lift and gives you that sort of button-shaped nose. But the thing is, she doesn't stop there. She then goes a step further and she creates these like diagonal lines leading away from her nose. I always thought, what's the purpose of those two lines on the sides? But actually, visually, it's already like lifting up my nose, which is kind of crazy. So once this is sort of mapped out on your face, the next step she does is she takes a beauty blender and blends this all out. Obviously, you want this to be nice and blended out, but at the same time, you don't want the mappings to disappear. So when you're blending this out, just try and be quite precise with it. Okay, so that's the nose contour blended out. I feel like it actually looks pretty good. Okay, this is a many step procedure because the next thing she does is she takes a loose powder on a beauty blender and she basically just runs this along the outer parts of her nose. It seems that she's using a slightly smaller sponge for this. So what I'll do is just pinch it like this to kind of get a little bit more precise. And I'm just going to run that along the side kind of like she did. Okay, so now that the powder is on, the next step she does is she goes in with a powder contour product. So for this, I'm gonna be using my Roxy X Revolution Contour and Highlighter Palette. This is the palette that I use for contouring every single day, as you guys can see, it's quite worn. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is perfect for nose contouring for me, and I'm just going to run that along just kind of like to the side of where we've placed the powder, just like she did. I guess that will kind of like enhance that structure of the nose and maybe even set the cream product underneath it as well. To be honest with you guys, I feel like this just seems like an awful lot of products being used, which I don't think is necessary for nose contouring, but we're not gonna judge it until we try it, so let's just keep going. So next up, she's dusting away that powder off of the side of the nose. I feel like that line there is slightly a bit harsh, I'm trying to like blend that powder over and into it. And the last step she did is she actually applied a little bit of highlighter on the tip and the bridge. So for this, I'm gonna use a combination of this shade and this shade together. And I'm just going to apply that to the tip of my nose as well as a little bit on the bridge. And that is my nose contour complete. Let me know what you guys think. I actually feel like it looks pretty good. I definitely can see that this line here is a tiny bit harsh. I probably should have blended it out a little bit, but 
it's actually quite tricky once it sets into place. I know I said we use an awful lot of products, which I think is a bit excessive, and I still do. However, I feel like this way it will be a lot more like long lasting because we do have the cream contour and then the powder on top. But yeah, I do actually really like the shape of my nose with this technique. I think it looks really cute and button like. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give this hack a 10 out of 10. I do think it works, and I will definitely use it when I want my nose to look nice and snatched. Okay, this next beauty hack we're gonna try is from this user right here, and I am so excited to try it because I love trying any kind of faux freckle hack. So basically what she does is she uses a cream contour product. She uses something sharp, I think it's like a nail tool. Instead of applying the product directly onto the face, she then stamps it onto her finger, and then she just creates like this little stamp that she can use over and over again. I think this way her freckles look really natural because she can like control how much she presses them down and honestly I just can't wait to try this. So for this I'm again going to use the sleek cream contour palette and I'm actually going to take a pair of scissors because I don't have anything sharp like that. So I'm literally just going to take my scissors and jab that into the cream contour product, pick up some of it and then I'm just going to stamp that on the back of my finger like this. I've just realized I probably should have done this on my right hand because I'm right handed but we're just going to try it. Okay so I'm just going to Pat that on. Oh my god! That works so well. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. And you can like twist your finger so it doesn't look too repetitive. I'm then going to use a clean finger and kind of like pat it away to make it a little bit more natural. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. It looks so natural. I genuinely feel like that's the best faux freckles I've ever achieved. Like I've used actual faux freckle products and like tried everything like using eyebrow products, all sorts, and it's never looked this natural. I feel like that was such a quick and easy and almost common sense hack, but it just works. I'm just gonna set this down so that it doesn't budge but I am genuinely obsessed with this. If you guys haven't tried this method of applying faux freckles to your face, honestly try it, it's so easy and the results are pretty awesome. Moving on to the next viral TikTok hack, we are trying out this one right here and I have been meaning to try this for the longest time because I think it's absolutely genius. So this girl right here is basically showing you guys how to create a cut crease using nothing but an eyelash curler. I honestly think there's been so many times where I try and do a cut crease and I just give up because it's so difficult. It really takes a lot of practice to get it perfect. But she literally just smashes it out in like two seconds. I'm like, what? So here I have my eyelash curler. This one is from Tweezerman. And I would say if you're doing this hack, try and get one that's the most curled that you can. What I mean by curled is this shape right here. You want it to be as angled and circular as possible. Just because I have seen a couple of people do it with slightly less like arched lash curlers and it never looks quite right on the eye shape. So for today's eyeshadow look, I am whacking out the one and only Cozy Vibes palette by Roxix Revolution. This is the palette for this time of year. I am so excited that it's autumn again because I get to play with all these glitzy and glam kind of shades. For today's look, I am gonna keep it quite neutral and matte though because I want you guys to see how this technique performs. So for this, I'm actually gonna use the darkest shade in the palette, which is the shade Leaves. I'm also gonna be using one of my brushes from the All You Need brush set that came out with this palette. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that on this big brush. And this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm just gonna have to wing it. I have got this little standing mirror that I'm just gonna perch up on my lap and hope for the best. I'm gonna have to try super hard not to mess this up. So I'm taking my lash curler and I'm gonna place it against my lid like this. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna kind of buff that shadow over the lash curler to create that cut crease shape. I'm very concerned how this is gonna turn out. This is either gonna look amazing or it's gonna look so stupid. Three, two, one. Whoa! I actually love that shape. That is something we can definitely work with. I'm just gonna fan out my brow bone a little bit. But that is pretty cute. I mean, that shape is nice. It works with my eye shape, so we're off to a good start here. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the other side, and this is the tricky part. Like, I'm gonna have to try and get it to match. This is kind of making my eye water as well because of how cold the lash curler is. I'm basically doing the blindfolded makeup challenge because I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, that worked pretty well that time. I mean, I got a little bit on my eye 
lid as well, but we can work with that. That looks so freaking good. I'm just gonna fan it out again and kind of blend it a little bit. I'm then just gonna carve out my lid with the shade Chill, which is this matte nude color. And I feel like that would just help really carve the lid and make the line a little bit more obvious. Okay guys, so this is my eyeshadow all nice and finished. I actually love this technique so much. I feel like it definitely took me a few tries to really get the hang of it, but once you do, it makes your life so much easier. So yeah, this hack is definitely a big thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna be trying this again if I ever wanna do another cut crease. I'm now gonna finish off the eyes with a little bit of eyeliner. The one I'm using is the Roxy X Revolution Ultra Precise Liner, which is actually a felt tip. And the liner I'm gonna do today is just a simple kind of winged liner because the next hack we're doing is actually a lash hack. Okay, the next hack, as I said, is a lash hack and it is by this user right here. She basically says that you can make your strip lashes look like extension lashes. And the way you do that is literally just by sticking them underneath your lashes rather than on top of your lash line. Honestly, I don't know why I've never tried that because it looks insane. You don't see the lash band. It literally just looks like your regular lashes. So that's what we're gonna to try it today. I've already applied my mascara on and I've just got these little lashes that are quite natural but really wispy. So the first thing she does is she just cuts up her regular strip lash into a few pieces. She basically cuts her lashes into little chunks. The first one is quite big and then the outer parts are slightly smaller. Okay, so the first step she does is she puts lash glue on the top part of her lash rather than on the bottom, which all in itself kind of feels a little bit weird because I've never done this before. Okay, here we go. Wait, what if I get lash glue in my eye and like my eye just sticks together forever? I'm so worried. Oh my God, how do I even do this? This feels so weird. No, 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 I can't. This feels too weird. I'm gonna try with my fingers. And she says to like stick it together by squeezing it. Oh, it just came off. Okay, I thought this was gonna be easier than it is. I'm gonna go for round two, apply some more lash glue because it's all gone. I genuinely did not expect it would be this difficult. Let's try again. I literally can't stick it on. What the hell? Oh, I think it kind of worked. Hang on, let me try and use my tweezers. Oh no, it just takes it off. No, I literally can't stick this on. Okay, I'm going for my one last try. I've made sure my tweezers are clean. Technically nothing should go wrong now. Okay, let's do this. Oh my God, it's in my eye. Whew, it's stuck. I'm gonna squeeze it. It just pulls it off. I just can't keep it on. As soon as I squeeze it, it gets pulled off by the tweezers. 2,000 years later. Okay, I've managed it. I don't know how, but I think what you have to do is just wait until the glue becomes quite tacky and gloopy. And then when you squeeze it with your fingers or the tweezers, it doesn't like pull it off. It's looking pretty good actually. I'm not gonna lie. It looks natural. Like there's no lash on top. There's no lash band. It's pretty well hidden too. I'm just worried like how close that is now to my eyeball. I can also see the lash in like my peripheral vision, which I usually can't because obviously it's on top of my lashes. I'm now going to move to the smaller chunks of the lashes. And what the girl does in the TikTok is she actually sticks them on top of her lashes, but towards the outer corner. So I'm just going to do that now and basically just see what happens. Hopefully we'll get that nice foxy eye. Oh God, this is a nightmare. Okay, that stuck on pretty well. That looks nice. It turns out I've actually still got two little clumps that I could put on my eye, but looking in the mirror, I actually feel like this is enough. It looks really natural, and then shoot, all I did was put one underneath and one tiny one on top. I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. It literally looks like my natural lashes because you can't see the lash band. So I guess I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that is the lashes finished. I also popped on some lipstick to finish off the look, but I am honestly so impressed impressed with the lash hack. Not only does it literally look like my real lashes because you can't really see the lash band, but it also means that you won't get those pesky lash corners pinging off, especially in the inner corners. Overall, a 10 out of 10 for this hack. I feel like my fake lashes have never looked better. Now the very last hack I am kind of dreading, which is why I saved it till last, and that is actually a hair hack. So I'm just gonna take these little clips out. Goodbye. 
I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this one to be honest. So here it is on screen. So as you guys can see in this viral TikTok hack, this girl is applying concealer onto her hair. She then dries it and applies a colored eyeshadow over the top and instantly you've got highlights. I feel like this is such a cool way to apply color into your hair and like test it out to see if you like it before you actually commit to bleaching and dyeing your hair. But honestly, the thought of putting concealer in my hair is kind of making me feel some type of way. Do you know what? We're just gonna do it. I'm gonna wash my hair after this anyway, so it's fine. So I've got my concealer. I'm just gonna take a tiny little strand by the the front of my face. I feel like this was a trend like half a year ago where people would just dye the front parts of their hair. Okay, I guess let's just do it. It's not gonna do itself. Three, two, one. Uh, why am I doing this? This feels so wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna actually do this for real now. I'm gonna cover my hair in this concealer. Sorry if I'm looking down, I'm just trying to do this in the mirror that I've got on my lap, but this just feels so wrong. I cannot stress enough how wrong this feels. I mean, if this works, this would be a really cool technique to maybe use for Halloween if you don't wanna buy like colored hair sprays. I'm just gonna use my fingers now to like distribute this concealer. This feels so gross. I feel like my hair is also a bit too dark for this. Like even though I've just slathered it in concealer, it still looks so dark. Actually just turning it gray, I'm basically aging myself prematurely. Is my hair going to fall off after this? That is the question. Okay, so this is what we have right now. My hands are covered in concealer and then what she does next is she blow dries this to make it dry. Okay, I feel like that's as dry as it can possibly get. I'm just gonna use a fine comb to brush it through. Okay, and now I feel like it's time to choose the color of which my highlight is gonna be. I think I wanna go for a pink. The girl went for blue, so I want something a bit different and I'm gonna take it from my Roxy X Revolution Color Burst palette. I'm gonna take the shade Fetch. She takes it on a big dense brush like this and then she basically just goes to town and just tries to stamp this all over her hair. It's kind of working, but it's not... <laughs> It's not really a vibe. Honestly, I'm starting to realize this was definitely not worth it because the pink isn't even showing up. Maybe I have to work in layers. It's kind of working now. Okay, it's kind of working. I mean, I can definitely see the pink now, but does it look good? I beg to differ. It just looks really greasy. You can tell the hair has been covered in something and I don't know. I don't know. Okay guys, that's as good as we're gonna get it. I don't think it looks amazing. I think it definitely looks like I've literally applied concealer in my hair because that's exactly what I did. I mean, just for fun, it definitely works. You can see what your hair would look like with a certain streak of color. But personally, I don't think I would ever leave my house with a streak of concealer in my hair like this. All right guys, so that is all for the viral TikTok beauty hacks we're gonna try out today. I did actually wash out this little streak because I felt like I just couldn't finish this video off with it in. It was just so greasy and it did not look right, so it had to go. Out of all the hacks, I think my favorite one is definitely the lash one. I mean, it was a little bit tricky at the start, but now that it's worked, it looks amazing. Let me know in the comments below which one of these hacks was your favorite and would you ever try them? If you want me to do any more videos like this in the future, be sure to send me in any of the viral TikTok beauty hacks you want me to try next. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna watch any more, I will have a whole playlist in the eye, but that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. Mwah.